Hi, Morgan and Mark from Whole Latte Love. Today we'll be taking a look at the DeLonghi ECO 310 Semi-Automatic Espresso Machine. Now this is part of DeLonghi's Icona line, and Mark, I know that you've had a chance to work with this machine a bit, so I thought we would show the viewers just how easy it is to make a cappuccino. That's right, we'll make one start to finish. We'll show you how easy it is. I'm gonna use an ESE pod, uh, which makes it even easier and uh, cleaner. Yep, and Mark's gonna be using a pod, but you can use pre-ground coffee with this machine. It does come with a pressurized filter basket, so it's a great machine for beginners. So let me get going. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna load up a pod here. We've had our machine on for, oh, about 10, 15 minutes, so it's nice and warmed up. We're gonna use an Illy pod. These are very easy, available from many different uh, coffee manufacturers. So we'll put the pod in. We're using the single shot basket here. We're gonna lock that portafilter in place, and we'll get our pre-warmed cup, a nice warming surface up here. Our cup's nice and warm to start with, and we'll press the brew button in the center. And we're going to let that run about an ounce and a half or so of coffee. It should take about 23 seconds. Um, the machine also does come with a double shot basket that we see right here. And again, you can use pre-ground, although we're using pods, making it really easy. And we've got just about enough. So we'll stop that. We'll just let that sit there. Now we're going to press the steam button. And it takes about 30 seconds or so for the machine to get up to steam temperature. We're going to use about half a cup of milk. So we end up, uh, when we make our cappuccino, we want about one-third steam milk, one-third froth milk, and one-third espresso. Um, so as that's coming up to temperature, um, here's our wand. It's an auto-frothing wand. It does have an air hole that automatically injects air into the milk, so it makes it very, very easy to steam milk. Again, the outside of the machine is uh, all metal, which a lot of times the machines at this price are usually a plastic exterior. This is an all metal exterior. Got some nice styling touches like the rails on the uh, cup warming surface over here. Um, here's our espresso uh, in the cup, just waiting for our milk to get poured in there. Any second there we should get, there we go. We get the green light, our steam's ready to go. Didn't take long at all. So we'll open up, we're gonna get into it. Another pitcher, we're just getting rid of any excess water in the system. We're just gonna put our pitcher under. And so our tip is under the top of the milk. We'll open the steam up. And let it, let it do its thing. And you can see uh, we're getting a little roll there, which is always a good thing to have. It helps mix the air in a little bit better. We're looking for our milk to about double in volume. We're almost there. Then once you get that doubling in volume, you can raise the pitcher up and cover that hole, it won't inject any more air, but just continue to heat the milk. And we're gonna heat the milk until the pitcher is just becoming uncomfortable to hold, and that's where it is now, so we'll stop. And you always, always, always wanna wipe off your steam wand, and make sure you keep that clean so you get good frothing performance. Okay, so we're ready to pour it. Next thing we're gonna do is just give a little tap, that'll get rid of any of the larger air bubbles, and also just a swirl around to kinda of mix it all up together, and then we're just gonna pour. We'll pour slowly and into the center. We won't hold anything back. And we're getting mostly steamed milk. Now the froth starting to come out onto the top. I am not a latte artist, but you know, we're getting a little something up there. And there we go. There is our cappuccino in under two and a half minutes. Really easy. All right, let me give that a try. Mmm, what a delicious cappuccino, Mark. Thanks. This is a really nice, rich froth to it. Again, this is the DeLonghi ECO 310, and it's a clean, quick, convenient fit for cappuccino drinkers who also enjoy the convenience of pod brewing. Yeah, now you can use the ground coffee with it, uh, but it is a little bit more messy when you're using the pressurized baskets, and it's not gonna produce quite the quality of a shot you would on a more expensive machine. But if you're brewing with pods and doing mostly cappuccinos, that kind of thing, you're really gonna like this machine. It's a great value. Mm -hmm. I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. Thanks for watching. WholeLatteLove.com is the number one source for everything coffee.